We're here at the start of a new Catrillo Games playthrough. Oh, yeah. About to get into that Astro's Playroom. Now, Trevor's played this before, but uh, your boy here has only put about five minutes into it, and I just <laughs> never got a back around to it. Oh, he's got his own like little intro and stuff, too. Nice. PlayStation Studio. Oh, yeah. This is something that really showcases the controller Minus and stuff. Studio Japan. So, Team Asobi is the main team behind Astro in general. And they are going to absorb Sony's Japan studio. Oh. Which is awkward. But uh, I guess that means we're getting more Astro in the future. We're I mean, traveling through PlayStation history. Ah! So I didn't even catch this my first time playing through it. Interesting. Thank you. Well, the. Uh, Introducing. Uh, your dual sense controller. Oh. I hope you have on your vibration and stuff. I know you like turn yours off. I, uh, I have mine just set to lower, so it's not like giving me arthritis. <laughs> My I actually like it. Wait, can I draw? Catrillo games. <laughs> 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 no, it would have been funny if you put like if you drew gamer grease. I would have just laughed. Yeah. <laughs> It's actually interesting because when I played through it, it's like, uh, but you actually have, he's like an encyclopedia for all of this stuff. So it's going to be interesting to play through it with him. Oh, all the, the little references. Oh, I, yeah. I hope I catch them all. I have been really, really looking forward to playing this. I, I think it's probably, probably the coolest um, fresh new idea on the PS5. My favorite game so far is Sackboy, but uh but I definitely like what this is going for. And Sackboy's also kind of a PS4 game, if we're being honest. It's not. I mean, I'm just saying like, it's, all, it's also there. I mean, that's cool, but, you know. And at the end of the day, Breath of the Wild is a Switch game to me, even though it, I know it came yeah. on the Wii U first. <laughs> we, did, we did have that discussion, yeah. These, like, uh, intergenerational games. Ah, nice. So I can roast the glass with my jetpack. Nice. Can't do it with that. I had to ah! I'm shattering a lot of glass here. Uh, what did we do? Trigger? No, yeah. Ah! <laughs> hey. See, now, if they made a PlayStation All-Stars, he should be a character. Oh, that'd be so cool. I just feel like they won't ever do that again. It's really sad. PlayStation doesn't do what I wanted to. This looks beautiful, by the way. Yeah. Oh, it's 4K glory. But I think, I, like, you know, with this being a game that can only run on PS5, I'm going to imagine it, like, if it also had a PS4 version, it wouldn't look quite as good. Yeah. I, 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 I'd, I'd, um, I'd sign, I, I'd, I'd sign that document with you, my good sir. Oh, yeah. So you Ooh. know what you got to do. Come on. Ooh. Hey. Ooh. 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 Like, I just, Gaga. I like good 3D platforming, man. Oh, yeah. Then you'll love this. Yeah. yeah that's, that's why it's insane that I haven't played it yet. But I'm going to be honest, like, in, you know, a peek behind the uh, the Catrello curtain, as it were. I just don't really play games unless uh, unless I'm, like, doing it for, like, entertaining an audience uh, for the most part. I'm trying to get out of that, by the way. And yeah, it's, I'm, a, it's I'm, a terrible mindset because you, eventually you just kind of like forget why you play games in the first place. Yeah, like you still got to be a, a... Like I always have fun, but it's just like I, I I forgot what it's like to just like sit down with a game without an agenda. Yeah, it's... it's I mean, now granted, it's not... You My know goodness, how we figure I'm it. If, we're, if you're going to play it, you may as well press the record button, right? But yeah. like at the same time, it's also good to remember that, you you know, it's still a hobby for you. It's still something that you love to do. So, you know, I'm trying to teach myself that too, like at least probably once a week to just pull out a video game and play it, not for work, but just for fun, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. And this was almost that game for me, but I oh, also, yeah. I mean, you know, also it's like we're, we're all busy and it's hard to like uh, get together in general. Man. But if I can, it, you know, this is a, a way that Trevor and I can both play this game. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, man. And, and, oh, man. Yeah, you got, yeah. No, and also, I mean, to be honest, we were also really focusing on... Ah! I mean, at least you didn't fall all the way down, so I'll, yeah. take, I'll give you that. And we also were focusing heavy on Sackboy, too, when that first came out. That's the first thing we played on PlayStation 5. Yeah, I'm so glad that was four-player. Yeah. Uh, 
that made it worth it. Not it, enough games are are like effectively co-op. Okay, enough extras here. Let's, uh, oh no, let's they made a DLC cool springs. For, if they made a DLC for like Miles Morales and like one person can play Peter Parker and the other could play Miles Morales. Oh, dude, we'd be all over that. Oh my gosh, yeah, yeah. Or that um, my the biggest one lately is Final Fantasy. I would just oh. I, we, Final Fantasy or Kingdom Hearts, those games would be so much fun on co-op. It would, but I just... And it wouldn't be that hard. I mean, I would just help you with the combat. That That's all it would be. Yeah. And, Which would be enough. And I'm, it's like, I mean, is it really... Is the gameplay really that different from, like, Marvel's Avengers? Not or necessarily, you, no. I mean, if we both had two different systems and you can just, you know... Online play, you know, get it connected. Yeah, like, it seems like it'd work just fine. And I bet it'd work a whole lot better than Avengers, too. Sorry. No, yeah. shit, no, shit, no shade Avengers, but a little bit shade. All right, Michael, who was that character? Who? Who we see? Right here on the uh. boat. <laughs> oh, Kratos. Yeah, that's so funny. Nice. Oh, my gosh. We Boy. got to keep a sharp eye. Boy. Yeah, I, I haven't I haven't played that. You I haven't played. started playing that. I haven't played it. No, I okay. haven't downloaded it, but I haven't played it yet. Yeah, so some of the, the bonuses that you can get on your PS4 while, or PS5 while you're waiting for more exclusive games is some games. Oh, we got a PlayStation 2 controller. No, PlayStation 3, sir. Oh, that's play. Ah, uh, I see the this now. Yeah, this can one. Can you say six axis fast? Ten times six axis. I can't. I Nope, can't do can it. Can you say? Oh, we can zoom in. My goodness. Look at that. Yeah. That looks real. Look at that quality, baby. 4K. Can you say six axis, six axis, six axis, six axis? I can't. He looks like two cannon from Pokemon. <laughs> you mean he looks like a two cannon? Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I know. But still, still. Two cannon. I like that Pokemon. I had me a cool little party from Sun and Moon. Yeah, he's cool. It a uh, custom move, burn people. Oh, yeah. I forgot. It was about like that. a kind of useful sky attack. I never got this artifact. Way to go, Michael. Who is that? He's dropping flowers. Uh, I think that's just a regular ash. Okay. I don't think that's a okay. reference. Well, he's just heartbroken, I guess. <laughs> but <laughs> well, I, yeah, this is a great great idea. That, like Nintendo should have something like this too. I always thought a cool Nintendo game would be a game like this, and then you import Nintendo worlds via I'm, Amiibo. I thought I thought that's basically what what Nintendo Land was. Ka mm. Yeah, yeah, kind of like Nintendo Land. Yeah, it's a great way to introduce your system. We gotta play Nintendo Land, man. I, I haven't ever like gotten Watch around out. to it because I um, what's it called? Uh, when he goes into the ground. Oh, yeah. see, and you only get one hit. One hit, and then you still got hit. your stuff though. You don't have to get those artifacts again or anything. But I have to beat this guy. You don't have to beat him, but I'm I'm pretty sure the gamer in you is gonna make you beat him. Now, yeah, there we go. Hey. Yeah, this is awesome. They do need to do things like this more often. I wish Switch would have had like an install game that was like that really utilized the Switch. Yeah, Switch didn't have anything installed. It, no, one two Switch six... should have been free. Yeah, no, one two Switch. That's why. Yeah, I was that's about the to type say. of game, man. You pop in for fifteen minutes and you're done. No, it should have been just... like Wii Sports. It should have came on the system. Yeah, and Wii Sports loved it. It really introduced me to the Wii. Like, I love playing like Wii boxing and yeah, stuff like it's that. Probably good in the long run though that it didn't come in pre-installed on the Switch. Because if it did, it might have, like, identified the Switch as, like, oh, this is another casual system where, like, really the big success in Nintendo Switch is them doing um, traditional games. Who is that? Uh, oh, <laughs> he's got a crown. He's got a cake on it. Oh. Fat princess? Know. You need to pull up, like, a, <laughs> you need to pull up, like, a document of uh, references for us to I to thought check. you knew him all. <laughs> No, I just, well, so Trevor played this alone, and then I edited the video of him playing it, and there were a bunch of times where I was like, Trevor, how did you not notice that was, like, Colonel Radic from uh, PlayStation All-Stars slash Killzone? I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, am I supposed to go up there? Uh, there's like some it. coins up there if you want to get them. You know, you're a gamer, so, I mean, I get it. Oh, yeah. Hey. That was hard. Nice. Oh. Cool. We get a trophy. I just love how, like, yeah, this is great. All the Astros got their own different, like, personality. Cooling springs. The springy spot. Oh, you're going to love this. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, on the trackpad. Oh, yeah. Now, what you got to do is 
Yeah, R R one. Yeah, there we go. You let me know when you want to hop in here. Oh, you got it. I might. I might hop in on the next one. Yeah. If there's any combat focus sections, those are the ones that I really have a, a hankering for. Yeah, we go. Uh, go on the left. Yeah. That's my boy. Now watch out if you fall in the water. That's it. Hey, now go to the right. There we go. Hey, <laughs> do these artifacts make like a picture at the end? Yeah. Nice. They're like literally like art. Yeah, yeah. It's a picture. Yeah, boy. And then go to the left. Oh no, there's nothing on the left. Okay, yeah, you got it. Now go to the left now. There we go. You're welcome. <laughs> ah. Oh, we got a mini game? Yeah. Nice. Was that from the first PlayStation? PlayStation, PlayStation Move. Move Sharpshooter. Met with oh, yeah, because they came out with it for the Resistance game. That's so funny. Man, they were chasing that Wii money. They yeah. They sure were. Oh, you see the uh, PlayStation co yeah. controller in the background? Yeah. Wow. I mean, you don't have to get that, but the gamer in you, I doubt you, like, you would not allow yourself to get that. Well, it's just like, it's fun. It's fun to collect stuff, you know? It is. Um, yeah, be sure to go all the way to the right. I think there's something over there. I think, don't, don't hold it to me. Yeah, yep. Hey, hey, new artifact. PlayStation move shooting attachment stop or my move will shoot. This reminds me of uh, there was a Pikmin game on the uh, 3DS and it um, you would collect things in that game. Uh, you would have your Pikmin collect cartridges of old Nintendo games. Mm -hmm. And so you'd like pick up the like Game Boys and stuff as well. But you would get like the, the cartridge from Donkey Kong Land. Collecting artifacts reminds me of, of that whole experience. Oh, cool. I never. <laughs> you know that one? Nah, who is it? Metal Gear Solid. Oh, oh yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah, Solid, solid, solid Snake. State. Ah, <laughs> got it. That's awesome. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so so wait for him to put on the, uh, the box skin. Listen for the sound. Mm. <laughs> That's awesome, man. That's cool. That's how he was introduced into Super Smash Bros. Too. Oh yeah, he was. Now that that reveal trailer was pretty cool. Oh yeah, that was awesome because we had no idea anything like that was possible up until that point. We're like, oh man, now Sonic could be in the game. I think he was in the game. You played with Sonic in Brawl, and then you just stopped, man. That I like his move set better in Brawl. Oh wow, cooling springs in full effect. No, uh, you can't jump in the water, remember? Oh, yeah, hit that. Hit that. There we go. Now you can jump on that. And then jump over there. Yeah. It's kind of funny because uh, Little Big Planet had the same pulling mechanic. You remember that? Oh, yeah. You're Move right. controller. I never touched one of these Me more neither. than like a second. The motion controller's left hand man. Uh, just like... Uh... <gasps> Yeah, I just feel like by by the time Move came out, I feel like everybody was done with the whole Wii concept. They were like, okay, I, I get this. It's fun. I want to go play some regular games now. Ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. You know you can knock down that. You know you can knock that down, too. That's me, it, it's mean, but you can do it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I bet I can melt it, too. Sorry. 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 Check this out. I'm digging this. Oh, you can, you know, over there. Go back over there. Yeah. yeah. We gotta get that. I don't know who that is. Oh, no, that's nobody. He's just a cameraman. Well, the this is this is referencing something. I don't know what. Mm. Oh, you, gotta, you gotta pull up a list. Really? There's gonna be some obscure ones that I've just never heard of. Like, 
this has a butterfly in it. Uh, I don't I don't know anything about this game. Got it. I got you. I got you covered from now on, sir. I'll never let you down just a, again. Just a cross reference. Uh, that's like the crossbar of the uh, the media <laughs> on the PlayStation. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, I'm guessing this is the alternate path because it looks harder. I love this. Yeah, right. It's so lame that they drop the colors on the controllers, though. Yeah, it is. Okay, come on, guys. They'll sell that controller later. <laughs> Let's see, cooling spring. Uh, <laughs> you get that one? Oh, uh, a bot charted. Oh, I know, uncharted. Come on now. Now, I got that one. I still have yet to play any of those games, by the way. I played it for five. I played the third one for like five minutes and just didn't just didn't really feel it. Really? Yeah. I just said uh, the photo. Uh, I don't play many photorealistic games because I, I kind of like the. I like stuff like this because I'm just escaping to a different kind of world. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Hey. You know, like Ratchet and Clank. It's just zany and it's different. I've never seen anything like it. Uncharted. I mean, it's just like playing Indiana Jones, which, you know, definitely could be cool. <laughs> it's yeah. just harder for me to Ooh. want to play those games off rip, you know? Yeah, Michael, I was right. This what the, the the big one with the cake on it was Fat Princess. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah, that was until dawn, by the way. The one with the butterfly. That was until okay. dawn. I yeah, I was thinking of something like that or like Life is Strange or one of those games that I've always heard of but never played. My goodness, this is good. Um liking this. Yeah. Game. I Gamer time. What? Yeah. Come on, get it, Mike. You Put got some it. sauce on hey. it. Hey, come on. No risk it, no biscuit. Yay. Yeah. Watch out. Ah. I do like that, by the way. That's an the, the, the enemy just jumping down and electrocuting the whole ground. That is interesting. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a do real game. Do I have to game. do that a lot? Nah. Okay. I don't think so. I don't, I, that's, you know, it's kind of... The, the funny part about some, a lot of these mechanics is that they are um, just kind of... They've been around before. Yeah, get They're that right They're definitely fun then. here, but uh, but it's like the whole blowing in the mic thing. It's, it's very DS. Kind of been there. And, oh, oh, Michael. I'm a fool. I'm a fool. Fool of a took. <laughs> <laughs> you see how he shivers, too? Yeah. That took a while. Man, I, yeah, I, I have a... Uh, I have asthma and uh, the the weak weak boy lungs, and uh, <laughs> those some of those man, there's some 3ds games that have, have winded me. Oh yeah, no, that's the truth. Okay, now who's this? Let's see. Can you guess? Ah, oh, it's a lab coat. Let me know when you give up. Uh, it's is that it's a zombie there. Is that Resident Evil? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh my gosh! Because yeah, this this hat this is uh, one of the guys from the first game. And yeah. then you got uh, I assume this is Wesker back here with the virus. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, I, don't, I I never really played the first Resident Evil, but what do we got in here? I, I doubt you'll guess that one. Is it Subnautica? No, it's. PlayStation VR World. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I haven't played that one. Y'all good, man? You, you you interested in VR at all? No. Yeah, I just, I'm, I, I'm a traditional gamer. I'm sorry. I know people. Oh, VR is the future. I mean, well, uh, leave me in the past, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I mean, there's one called Moss that looks cool. You're like a little mouse. And I mean, I'm, I'm interested, but not like, let me go out and spend hundreds of dollars to play a bunch of games that, yeah. uh, you know, it's like, Sony's not putting major first party resources into it, so it's like you kind of you kind of tell me there how important it is to you. Yeah, it's like you know, Nintendo came out of the gate with Nintendo Switch, Breath of the Wild, and uh, Odyssey, yeah. all that stuff, and it's like, man, that's how you show people that you know you mean business and that your platform is worth uh, spending some resources on. Oh <laughs> no. <laughs> 
You got it. Now you were just feeling froggy with it, and then you leap, and it's all good. Oh, you see the recycling sign on it too? Nice. On a lily pad. You gotta recycle. Yeah. Save you the gotta planet. stay fresh. Yeah, Mike. Yeah. Listen, Donkey Kong Country taught him well. Yeah. Yar. 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 How important are these PlayStation coins? Uh, they're not. I don't know if they're that important, but don't quote me on that. Oh yeah, definitely go left. Yeah. So I want to make a, a path for myself. Oh no. Oh no. There we go. You got it. Okay, so I'm gonna go this way. Yeah. Just hope that I make a jump. Nice. <laughs> That's my boy. That's my boy. Hey. Now you want to go to the left? Yeah. Ah! It's okay. Try it again. Nice. Just stay right there and then jump. Hey. Oh, is this the? Is this where I'm supposed to go, or is the other area? I think uh, I the other area might have had something. No, uh, nah, this is this is this is. The... No, you're right. Nope. Sorry. The other area was uh was the truth. See if you can jump back. Oh, uh, I can't. Sorry, man. Oh, what a mystery. Maybe maybe you can just like fall to your. Yeah. It's all good. Well, that is the puppeteer right there on the right. Oh, yeah. I love that game. Oh, my gosh. We got to play through that at some point. It's it's a really cool uh, Studio Japan game. Oh, nice. He, he keeps, you know, reminiscing of a Studio Japan. I get it. I'm just saying it's sad that they're. Uh, it is sad that they're being absorbed. It is. I mean, what would PlayStation be without stuff like The Last Guardian or Parappa the Rapper, or, you know, so on and so forth. Hmm. <laughs> it's doing the startup music for PlayStation 4. Oh, nice. Nice. No, that is. Speaking of Parappa the Rapper. Yeah. You gotta do what? You gotta believe. Oh, so these icons over here are the... No, this is the PS3 startup music. And this is like the PS3 uh, menu system. That's awesome. Speaking of PS3, I need to get mine fixed. Look around. Yeah, Trevor's got one of the PS3s that uh, still play all the old games. So, I mean, it's a... It's yeah, a look over there, delicacy. maybe. I'm just wondering if... Or maybe we missed it... Yeah, look. Yeah, look. Go behind oh, you over there. Okay. Ha! Oh man, I couldn't miss this one. Yeah. Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. You already My know. Boy. Ah. Get out of there. <laughs> hey. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> they need to make a new Sly Cooper game. Yeah, those games are awesome. They they apparently had some kind of movie or something planned that they just never got around to, or something happened. That's why PlayStation's so weird to me sometimes. The PlayStation 3, you gotta. There we go. Oh, HD graphics. HD graphics. With great power. See, this is the one that Trevor has. Yeah. Uh, I don't have this one because I was very late to the PlayStation game. And uh, with great power. <laughs> it's funny how they say with great power because this is the Spider-Man logo that they use in the old Spider-Man movies. Mm. Uh, it's the same font. Yeah. yeah look, at, look at that digital output. Wow! My goodness, look at that! Uh, the the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the USB ports. <laughs> it's the first PlayStation console you could play four player without buying something extra. Remember that multi tap? What a rip! <laughs> <laughs> Man. Look and now you're gonna that. see. All the stuff we found. Yeah. And then, you, okay, there's our puzzle pieces. We've got a little bit for a few different pictures. Oh, mm -hmm. my goodness. Oh, they fill up, like, the Labo? Labo? <laughs> Isn't that the <laughs> Nintendo thing? I don't know, man. Don't. 
But you see that like it has its own area right there. Yeah. I love this. This feels like a Sega game. Also, like Sega's usually very reverent with their old stuff. You see the way to touch it all on like, yeah, it's mine. It's mine. <laughs> I mean, that's how people touch on uh, the PlayStations that exist still that look like that. Man, it's it's like a it's it's hard to find. Yeah. Now this one, this D pad, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty accurate that it's very uh, unstable. <laughs> I swear that happened to every one of my PS3 controllers. The the D pad just went out, and it like registers false input. <laughs> <laughs> Joy-Con drift, anybody? Oh, for reflection. See, the details like this, they just... You, you didn't have to, but I'm glad you did. Yeah, man. So I'm wondering how much stuff we missed, though. Oh, this is something. I don't know what it is, though. Man, oh, man. I like this a lot. Look at this dinosaur this guy's programming. Let's see. All right, well, I think that's uh, that now we go back to the hub, I suppose. Yeah, and that's when you like go into one of the other ones. Um, Let's get back to our hub world. Oh, what what is this? I received thy prize. Um, oh, <laughs> we got a PSP? No UMD, OMG. Oh, man. That's awesome. Oh, the PSP Go. Yeah, that yeah. one. PSP was very, uh, very well received. Mostly because, I mean, you know, it was very easy to hack. <laughs> you could download Game Boy games on it, but I didn't tell you that. Uh, I didn't <laughs> do that either. I I wanted to buy a PS th PSP, but couldn't find any games that I really want to play on it. And so I bought a DS instead. Yeah, I had both, man. You know, um, yeah, now I've got a PSP. Well, I've got a PS TV that plays some PSP games. <laughs> GPS. I, dude, I miss stuff like this because, like, we j we'll never need th something like this again, but it was just so wacky. Like, like the Game Boy printer. Mm -hmm. There's so many weird and wacky tools that, that are so unnecessary now, but very cool technology for the time. Yeah, man. No, they really put. Dude, this reminds me of uh, Melee. You know, when you cash in and get all your stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, is the LAN adapter. Yeah, dude. Um, this is what I got to play Ratchet, uh, Ratchet and Clank 3 online. They, they had such a fun online mode in that game. You're really enjoying this. Yeah, this is awesome. This is like the, the coolest kind of game to introduce your system with. Oh, man. Got these cool trophies, too. Oh, so yeah. Well, you see where you're spending your money on now. I'm spending all of it, man. I imagine this is what you do with your money, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. What? Oh, now we got stuff filling in. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yep. All right, there, man. Way to go. That's how you do it. So that's going to be the end of this uh, first little episode of Astro's Playroom. Uh, I think that's what it's called, right? Yeah, man. Astro's Playroom. You we'll got get it. Get into a little more next time as the adventure continues. Get some more stuff opening. I'm so cool. New speed challenges are available. From nice. CPU Plaza. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember those. <laughs>